Good morning! So, we have left Carbonon and we are now at Quabba Blowholes. See them over there? Oh, now let's get across this rocky, rocky bit. You can see them right over there. But I gotta get across all these rocks. Yikes. I think Blue's finally changing out of his flip flops into some decent shoes. <laughs> All these puddles. How close do you think we can go? I don't want to get wet. Why, it's windy up here. Oh, wow. Uh, on this side you can see it like the sea. Oh Wowza. I don't know if you can see on this one or not, but when it blows high there's a rainbow. Blue, don't get to... Can you see the rainbow? Right, he has to get quite close to see over the edge. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, now you can see him. <laughs> oh, you had to stand there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going over there. <laughs> Oh, fabulous! Oh, catch cat, wet, wet myself then. <clears throat> so after Blue's got soaking wet at the blowholes, which is quite funny, um, and he's moaning at that there. <laughs> and we're now at the natural aquarium, which is just 
up the road from there. Um, and we're supposed to be able to see like, lots of marine life. Um, but let's see what we can see. It's very pretty here. So it's much calmer in this bit than the other side. <coughs> and that's obviously a, we were down that end where the rocks are. You just walk down here. And you can't fish here, but you can pick oysters off the rocks. And you can catch squid, which is the jig with no bait. Did you hear that? You can catch squid using a jig and no bait. So, I guess this is the aquarium. go this way to get down, can't get down from here. Well, might get down, I don't know if you get out. We're going this way apparently. But it does look, it looks like a big fish bowl. <laughs> How are you going to get back up? Yeah. How am I going to get down there? Oh, I'm just buffer shops on my way down the hill. Oh, fancy running down there. I'll go head first, I know me. <sighs> oh my god. Buried in the sand. Oh. Get the sand off my butt. Here we are. So this is the natural aquarium. So it's a, hab a habitat place for fish. And you're not allowed to fish here. Let's go and see what we can see. I'm not sure if you are allowed to swim or snorkel here. I'm not sure. quite shallow so Are you going in? Just asking you going in. Do you see anything? Well, I'm not talking about fishing, I mean wildlife, fish. Camera, it's just a big one over there. Oh, something just jumped out there.
platform now. See if we can see anything from up here. They must all be further out. We can see the blowholes from here as well. Over the hill. You want to get onto that bit, don't you really? And walk to the end of that sandbar. Because look, there's a big sandbar there. You can walk across, probably see quite a bit. Okay, well we might not see much, but we just see a big fish. There's something jumping out the water, it's definitely in there. We need to spend longer here really. But we need to get to the Nick Blue. Oh, so so it's like it's mist in the air and I thought I've seen things. They must have been blowing out. I can't see that mist coming. He said the best thing to do is look just below the horizon and like just scan the surface and wait for the splash yeah that's what i saw i said and then they said like but there was one just there quite close to us and the reason we can't see anything in the aquarium is because the tides are low oh. he said you need to be here this afternoon No, I there's. Saw it, fucking, it, I saw this place. No, like, they said here. No, no, they said they're here all the time. Just watch, you'll see them. That's difficult, isn't it? As soon as we I switch the camera on, we can't really? see. Them. But when I was talking to him, we saw loads. Ah. Oh look, I saw me. I saw Steve Moore. He's over this stuff there. I didn't think. Oh, there it is. There it is. Where? Oh, he's over there. I can't tell which way he's going. He's going over there. It's pretty hard to see. They're hard when you're looking, but then when you see it, you can't mistake it. Because it's a massive splat, like a blowhole in the yeah, sea. Yeah, that's what I was, I saw. I kept seeing the blowholes coming up. I was like, huh? Didn't you see me pointing out to the sea with them? Hey? Didn't you see me over there pointing out to the sea with those guys? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. guess what we'll be doing for dinner? Watch him for whales! <laughs> we should see them on the Ningaloo. And here we are. At Coral Bay. Wow, look at this for an ocean. How stunning is that? Look at the colour of the water. So it's beautiful, but we're not actually stopping here. We've just come to have a look as we're going into the national park to stay at a beach camp called South Lafroy. The only problem is uh, the roads are closed going in. One because, one of the roads because of sand drifts and the other one because there was a military operation going on and we can only go through in a four wheel drive high clearance vehicle. So it's gonna be a bit of a bumpy road but we just thought we'd stop here, have a look and go and ask tourist information the best way for us to get there. So it should be about an hour from here, but I think it's going to take us a bit longer. But gosh, if this is anything to go by, we're in for a treat tonight. And we'll be camped right on the beach, hopefully. 
And now in our luck, it'll rain, because everywhere we go, it seems to rain. Hmm. The other thing I noticed about the coral bay as we were driving in was I had a couple of caravan parts, but blimey, they were busy. And everybody was parked really close to one another. And it's not really my cup of tea. The one we were at last night, yes, it was a commercial campground, but we had lots of space between us. Um, I don't think I'd like that being on top of each other. You want a bit of space to yourself, don't you? But yeah, they're all a bit crowded. And then there's another one being built just there, another RAC one. So, I mean, this is a great place just to come and enjoy the beach. It's lovely. I've lost my brother, he's gone off somewhere. But that's okay. He'll show up. So this is what they're building, RAC. So it's gonna be a resort with rooms. But look, this is one of the campsites here. Just so you can see what I mean. They're quite close together. This one's not as bad as the one further down. Oh my God, they were right on top of each other. Actually, this one's not so as bad at all. But the one coming in, oh my goodness. Ooh, we've had the most horrendous journey down the most corrugated road to get to South Lafroy, And now we're lost. Oh, good evening. So, I'm going to show you my campsite in a minute. But I have to tell you, to get here was an absolute mission. And my, I was driving and it was a two and a half hour four wheel drive and the most horrendous corrugations. Um, I feel quite sick. Um, I needed a wee all the way. Um, wasn't pleasant. But when I leave in the morning, I will film so you can see just how bad it was. Now, the only reason is that the Ningaloo Road is closed and uh, which was at the Ningaloo Yardy Road is closed. So you have to go down this well, horrendous track, but we got here. And is it worth it? Well, let's have a look. This is South Lafroy Bay, South Lafroy Bay, campground. What do you think? Not too shabby. And if I step back, you can see where we are located. Oh, that's brother having his beer. Look at that. We're just all this space to ourselves on the beach in front of the beautiful Ningaloo. Now I'm going snorkeling. See you later. Okay, I found my snorkel on the Ningaloo. And I saw a few fish. Oh. But I had my life jacket on because I always have a life jacket. Thank God I did. That current was so strong. I started off down there where my brother's fishing, just past that sign. And uh, next thing when I looked up, I was gone all the way across, past where that boat is, where they're paddling past that boat all the way up there a long way out from shore and I have to say I had a little bit of a panic because the current was so strong I was struggling to swim against it to get back to shore <sighs> anyway when I calmed down I managed to get back in it was every time I was swimming it's pushed me back out anyway so this is why you need to be very careful and really shouldn't go snorkeling on your own but you're not sure of the current so I thought best not do that and I should probably wear my fin so I'm gonna see what the current's like in the morning I just where my brothers come with me, but wear my fins so I can get a bit of speed against the uh, current. Oh, but I did see some pretty fish. I didn't get to snorkel, so I'm happy. But now, for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to relax here and enjoy the view. I think there's worse things to do. And uh, 
I will catch up with you in my next video. But stay here. I'll add the footage of that torrential road that we came down uh, so you can have a good laugh. Um, not only did it break a few of the water bottles, <laughs> they splashed everywhere, soaked all our beds, soaked all our clothes. Hence, you see washing and bags hanging everywhere. Yeah. Yes. It can be quite hard going. But it's all part of the adventure and I'm having fun. I'll catch up with you all soon. Take care.